Well, we made it into the new year. This is actually the night of the first. So, New Year's was last night. It's still cold and snowy. Probably run the Christmas lights till this weekend and we'll start taking things down this weekend. But had our warmest day in well over a week. Actually got above freezing. No sunshine though, but it was still nice. Things were kind of starting to melt, but we're going to freeze again tonight. So, ah, I spent the day, a good chunk of the day, out at uh, my brother's place. There's a good shot for you. Just a little project we'll cover here in a sec. But, uh, yeah. Kevin's buddy Hovig has that Jeep J3000 pickup. I don't remember what year it is. Late 60s, I believe. But uh, they're putting a 455 Buick V8 in it. And uh, I just happened to be there today when they got it fired up for the first time. So stuck around and actually got some footage. So here's a quick clip of that. I'd say you got a fire extinguisher handy, but just roll it out in the snow, that'll put it Oh, away. is that what that's for? Fill the float bowls? Let's see that. Or the float bowls? Oh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Fire hazard. Throw it. Woo! Fire right off. Hopefully I remember to put that in there. Uh, watch Kevin's channel for that. Uh, it may be a while before he gets it put up, but I got schmutz on the lens again. Camera's been floating around all day today. I should do this before I turn the camera on, but that looks better. But no, that was kind of cool. Sounds good. That's going to be a strong motor. Uh, we got the doors and the trunk lid on the Oldsmobile out at the property out there. And I took everything out of the trunk of this car. In fact, you can see the trunk lid's still up there. Uh, it is now in the car out there. Uh, tomorrow, Kevin's going to swing by. And we're going to grab all of that stuff. Minus the wheels. I'm going to ship the wheels for this car with this car. Two of them will go on the front. There's no rear axle underneath it, so I'll just put the other two wheels in the back. Dude can figure it out, but he says, I want all parts shipped with the first car. Uh, okay. So I'm pretty sure he's one of those uh, guys that uh, buys projects and maybe does a little bit of work and then moves them on for a little bit of profit. So whatever. I don't have the room for him anymore. I've got to cut my losses and free this place up here, this wonderful little itty-bitty shop that I got. You know, I've never measured how wide this thing is. I'm 18 foot 6 inch deep, I think. I don't know what I am width-wise, but... But, uh, yeah, we got then the doors went on easy. They closed, they opened, trunk lid went on pretty easy. So the only thing that's not going to fit in the car is the hood. We just couldn't get it in the doorway. So... It's going to have to either strap underneath the car or onto that frame or whatever. But hopefully the, uh, the shipper has some ideas on how he wants to do that. So uh, and then when I left there, I ran up to Harbor Freight. I went to a new one this time, one I haven't been to before up in Marysville. A lot further north than I thought it was, so... I almost turned around and went home, and then I went a little bit further, and there it was. But, uh, I went and got my fourth light. So, one, two, three, four. This is the Braun 10,000 lumen. You can connect up to four of them together. These are both two and two on two separate outlets, or two separate plugs, so... Technically, I could add four more lights in here if I wanted to, but these are 50 bucks a pop. 
they are bright really liking this and I really didn't need that one over there but I wanted it so and I don't remember how bright this one is but it's definitely a little dimmer but it works good over the workbench I got a nice bright garage now so worst case scenario I may spread them apart a little bit more but I ain't that worried about it I'm kind of hoping that those lights will line up with the side of the passenger side of the Jimmy when I back it in and the truck will come towards me that would probably put the truck right about here where I'm standing and I've got you know five six feet to my workbench so that will be enough to get things done plus have enough room on the far side to get around because I got a few things over there I want to get rid of there's that big generator welder unit I need to should just drag that thing out I'll do it after the olds is gone I should drag it out and just post it for anybody that wants it let me see if I can get a hundred or two hundred bucks for it but I've never had it running but once that's out of there I should be able to put my little press my little Harbor Freight press over there That'll clear up a little bit of space inside here again, so. But, uh, yeah. It was a good first day of the year. Got a lot of junk, though, to clean up. But we're getting there, one step at a time. One step at a time. I got these fluorescent lights here, and I'm thinking I'm going to have Kevin drag them out to his place. And just leave them out at his place so the new seller has two more lights they can deal with i've got two extra bulbs there one one base was uh was toast but i've got the two bulbs out there so and then i don't have to worry about getting rid of those fluorescent bulbs and my recycle bin is so full but uh we'll just leave them out there for the for the next person he did say he had a guy come out through the realtor. He hasn't even posted the house yet, and he wanted to see it. So he's kind of hoping he's got an early bid going. But then again, he kind of wants to make sure that you know he gets top dollar for that place, maximize his profit, so he can offset what he's going to be paying for his place in in Nevada. But uh, no, other than that, it's a little cool out. It's definitely not chilly, chilly. I mean, it's probably sitting at right now. Well, it's right at about 30. You know, it's better than the 15 and 19 we were at. Four degrees Celsius, according to that. Which, yeah, that would put it a little over. Yeah, was just, yeah. Anyway, the two thermometers read a little bit different. So... No, it's, uh, it was a pretty good day. Good good start to the year. I uh, folded the back seat down on the cruise, and I just loaded everything into that. I put the cruise into Chevy Avalanche mode, you know, where the back wall would fold down. Loaded everything into it. And, uh, I can't really get around there, but... But, uh... Yeah. We're making progress. We'll get, uh... There's one core support inside the car that dude doesn't want. He's got two good ones. So I'll take the bad one out and probably just cut it up and throw it in the recycle bin. Our uh, recycle yards around here won't take car parts unless you have the title for it or proof of ownership because of all the, all the homeless folks and the thieves that have been going around ripping people off and trying to sell all the car parts. So, we'll just, we'll scrap it that way. It's pretty rusty. I've stripped all the good parts off of it. And it's the original one from this car. And it's pretty, that one corner where the battery sat looks just about like the frame does up there. All holy and rotten. So... It's buried in there though. We'll have to get that out tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about it tonight because it'll just fill up the garage. So 
Other than that, oh, I was going to take this over there, but I forgot. Drag my little Milwaukee, but. I forgot to pull it off the charger, so at least now I got a good charged battery in it. I guess now that that one's charged, we can throw the other one on. One handed, there it goes. Somebody was asking about what I found out on my uh, Porter cable batteries. Whole lot of nothing. I don't really make these 18 volts anymore. And I don't remember if I bought or if I was just looking at. I must have just been looking at it. I'll have to go back through my purchase history and see, but I know I was eyeballing a uh, lithium ion, a used lithium ion battery. these things porter cable and it wasn't cheap I don't remember if I bought it or not it's not under the drill so I must not have bought it or if I did it hasn't shown up yet but uh, yeah I don't see it but uh, yeah, I guess these 18 volts they're not made anymore everything's all 20 volt so if I can get a good lithium ion battery or two, I'll hang on to the Porter cable stuff. But it might just be cheaper because I've got one, two, three DeWalt batteries. I thought I had one more. I guess I don't. The 20 volt 4 amp hour XR lithium ions. So I got three of those. So I might just have to bite the bullet and just buy a like a DeWalt cord cordless drill. And go that route. But yeah, a little disappointing, but that's you know these batteries things are I bought those when I bought the house, so that's going on thirteen years now. So things evolve, improvements are made. But other than that, not a whole lot going on. Like I said, there's no video of the uh, putting the car back together. That went pretty quick, though. Got footage for the the Jeep getting it running, but I gave all that to Kevin. I'll let him post that. You guys will just get a quick little snippet, like you've already seen. And that was uh, no mufflers. So it was a fairly small diameter pipe, so it was uh, somewhat restricted, but I did a full-on cam break in too, so. But uh, yeah, other than that, not a whole lot going on. Just looking around for that other battery. I don't know what I did with it. I, I, I know I was looking at it. There's a bucket full of scrap metal that's got to go in the bin, too. I was looking for that. Garbage didn't get picked up this week. They didn't want to risk the snow. I had an old office chair that I took apart. Got most of it in the garbage bin, but I'll just put this out front here to remind me. Well, that's empty, so we can toss that. Actually, that can go to the recycle bin too, so we'll just leave it in the bin with everything else. So, yeah, I'm going to go inside, kick back, relax. Got a little bit of a headache going on right now. Get some water. And uh, we will catch you all in the next one. I don't know what we're going to get into tomorrow. If I film anything. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah.